Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast on Swift development. Uh, if you have missed out on the first part, then I highly recommend that you watch it because each of the part, each of the future parts, uh, basically depends on the previous part or builds on top of the previous parts. In this particular screencast, we are going to cover functions. Um, so how do we declare functions in Swift. Now, if you go back to uh, the objective C, right, you can declare these things very easily. I mean, you can declare a function called an instant function called read, and you can implement this over here, right? And if you want to call it, you can simply call it self read. So, going back to Swift language you call the function, you create the function using the func keyword and then you type the name of the function. So it can be greet and that's it. Now if you want to call this function you can simply call it just like this. Of course the function really doesn't take anything right now but it can. So in order to declare some arguments you can say name and it is string. So now you cannot call this function because it needs an argument. So let's go ahead and pass some arguments to it. So I can say over here, John Doe. Okay. What about I go over here and I say, I say let some name equal to name. Of course, the semicolon is not necessary. You can add the semicolon but it's not necessary. So most prob probably just don't use it. So here we go. We can call this, uh, you can call and you can pass in John Doe and it goes to the, uh, the name parameter and of course we can assign it and we can see that we get the name over here. Okay. Sometimes you want the default values. What about that we have the default value of John Doe? Now, what's going on over here is that you have to pass in the name. And you have to specify that I'm passing the name of John Doe. Now, you can call it without any parameters and it will work just fine. It will still print John Doe. And the reason is that you are saying that, uh, you know, there's a default value. If I don't provide any value to the name, just use John Doe. And you can do that for multiple parameters. So let's say we have age. And now it says, hey, you need to provide some age. So, okay, I'm going to say John Doe is 45 years old. There we go. So it goes into the age, right? But if I want to provide some age, so I can pass in 45. And now if I want to call that method, that becomes a little bit different because I, I will have to say something like, okay, this is Mary, uh, Mary Doe, whatever, and age is 33. Okay. One of the things that you will notice is what will happen if I say, if I get the name over here, okay, any name, it can be Mary Doe, it can be this. In this case, it will come Mary Doe because we are passing, we are not uh, depending on the default value. So what will happen if I say name plus equals to, uh, well, you know, welcome to Swift. Hmm. Well, it doesn't like that. Now, the reason it doesn't like that is that we, we cannot say that it cannot use the plus equal to. So when it pass all these things, it is using the let keyword to pass. You cannot really change those things that you are passing. So if you do want to change those things, you have to say var. And then you can get the result that you expected. Same things with the age, if you want to change the age, you can do that over here. Without the war keyword, you, you, if you change it, it's going to complain that you shouldn't be doing that. All right, some of the basic things. One of the other things that is in uh, Swift language is sometimes you want to return multiple parameters. So how do we do that? So we create a function, 
we're going to say it's called get message. And let's just say that it takes an integer. So I'm just going to say that it takes integer or message ID. Okay. Oh, we did we even look at returning a single parent? We, we did it, right? So let's go over and see how to return a uh, single parameter. So I would say get greeting message. Okay. And it can take anything you, you like. Uh, so I'm just going to say name. And right now it doesn't really return anything. It's a get greeting message. It takes some sort of a name, but it really doesn't return anything. So if you want to return something, you have to use the arrow sign. And now you can return a string value. But now of course it's complained that I'm not returning anything. So I can, I can simply say uh, name plus equals to uh, welcome to Swift. And now once again it complains because this is passed by let so i can simply say var and uh, try to convert it let's see hmm, that's weird so what i'm doing wrong maybe i have to provide a default value for it So it's taking a string and let's say if I do this in this case and then return name. I think it likes it now for some reason. Kind of weird. Okay. All right. But this, of course, returns a single return values, which we are quite familiar with. What about if you want to return multiple values? So let's say I uh, have a function called get message and it takes a message ID. It is an integer, but it returns two things. It returns a um, Boolean value and it returns a string value. So this is how you declare a tuple that it's going to return a boolean and a string. So now I can return a boolean and a string. So I can return true and some sort of a string that, uh, you know, welcome to Swift. Now it's always giving me some props here. I'm not sure if... So boolean and string, this is this is how it should be. I'm not really sure why it's complaining about it over here. Why is it even complaining? It doesn't. Okay, so let's let's see. Maybe there's some problem over there. But let's see. So let um, and we can say over here that we are going to get uh, values in status and message. And we can say get message uh, and we can pass in two. That's kind of weird because it should be, it should work like that unless I'm, that's it. Uh, cool. If I return int and I return one, mm, it seems everything okay. Well, the wow. See, so you always make sure that you are not writing the syntax of Objective C because that's not going to work, right? So here we go. So now we can fire up this value. We can return a Boolean and a string, and we are returning a Boolean and a string. So we get those values, we pass in two for message ID, and we get the status. And uh, basically you can use status throughout, okay? And uh, you cannot really assign anything because you're saying let over here, but when you call it, it's uh, basically you get the same thing, okay? So you get the correct value. So if I say over here, let a equal to status, uh, so you get the true, and let m equal to message, 
you get the welcome to search message. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this. In in this particular screencast, we we learned that uh, how to use methods and how to return types from methods. Okay. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. In the future tutorial, I'm going to go over loops. I'm going to go over if and else and switch and class and structure. There's just so much, so many things to cover. Um, once again, your donations are greatly appreciated. You can donate using PayPal to awesomesharp at gmail.com. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more.